Let's take a look how to make this Y2K bitmap text effect here in Illustrator. I'm gonna go with this artboard size, click on create. For the font, I'm gonna go with Planet Cosmos. It's a free font you can download, I can leave a link in the description. And from here, let's go to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to the windows and select appearance. Let's go down here, click on the fill, and I'm actually gonna duplicate the fill. I'm gonna drag it to the plus, and I'm gonna select the top fill. And let's go here and select the gradient. Let's go to the angle. I'm gonna change it to minus 90 degree angles. So the main point is the dark area to be on the bottom and the light area to be on the top. I'm also gonna bring this diamond to the right. The location is gonna be somewhere around 64. I'm also gonna change up the black, double click, and I'm gonna go to the swatches and I'm gonna make it lighter. I'm gonna go with this gray. Now from here, let's go to the second fill. I'm gonna go to the fill color and I'm gonna select the full black. And let's go to the effects. Let's go to the path and select offset path. I'm gonna offset this with 10 pixels. The joins, I'm gonna change it to round. Click OK. Let's go down to the effects again. We're gonna go to the distort and transform. Select transform. And I'm gonna go and create a couple of copies. I'm gonna go with 10, for example. And let's increase the horizontal. For example, 4, vertical 4. This is good. Click OK. Now let's go to this black fill, drag it to the plus to create a new duplicate. And let's go to the bottom fill. I'm gonna change the color, for example, to orange. And let's open up the fill. And I'm gonna go to the offset path, click on it. And I'm gonna increase the offset to 20. So this way we're gonna make some nice stroke outlines. Click OK. Now let's go and select this orange fill. I'm gonna collapse it and drag it to the plus, create a new duplicate. Let's select the bottom fill with the orange. I'm gonna change it to black again. Let's open it up, go to offset path again. Now I'm gonna go with 30. So basically this way I'm gonna add a black outline to the stroke line, click OK. And I can go back to the fill with the orange and change it back to white, like so. Now let's go to this black fill. I'm gonna collapse it, drag it to the plus again to duplicate. Let's go to the bottom fill, open it up. Let's go back to offset path and I'm gonna increase this quite a bit. For example, I'm gonna try it out with 70, click OK. And now make sure that you're on the fill here. And let's go to the effects, let's go to blur and select Gaussian blur. And as you can see, we're gonna blur out this offset path. I'm thinking to go with like 13, click OK. And I'm gonna go back to the offset and I'm gonna decrease it a little bit more just to arrange it better, click OK. And now but least, we're gonna apply the byte map effect. So make sure that your text is selected. Let's go and click on the type here. Let's select it. And let's go to the effects. Let's select the rasterize. And we're gonna go to the color mode, change it to bitmap. I'm gonna go to the resolution, change it to other, and we're gonna decrease it. For example, I'm gonna try it out with 12. Background is gonna be transparent, click okay. And this is it. I'm also gonna add some spacing in between the letters. And pretty much this is it. If you want to change up the bitmap, you can select the text. Let's go back to the rasterize and maybe increase the resolution. For example, 20, click OK. And now you got like smaller size bitmap. And this is how I make Y2K bitmap text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.